This is the 18th annual a National Adoption Day in King County Superior Court, and we're all glad that you're here. For some of us, coming to work can be a chore, but I know that I speak on behalf of the folks that put this ceremony on, that today it doesn't feel that way at all, and that's thanks to you. Without further ado, because we intend to make this a short ceremony, because some of us, including the adults, need naps, yeah. <laughs> we're going to get started. And I'm going to turn it over to the MC today. That is Judge Dean Lum. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. And welcome to National Adoption Day. I'd like to initially introduce our uh, judges and the King County Bar President, Jennifer Paisno. Could we have the judges come out? Could you? Welcome again to one of the happiest days in the King County Courthouse. We have with us uh, Judge Averill Rothrock, Judge Ferguson, Judge David Keenan, Judge Melinda Young, Judge Mafe Raju, Judge Sue Parisian, and Judge Sandy Widland. <laughs> Judges, could you please stay up have a seat in the jury box? This indeed is a, one of the happiest days in the King County Courthouse. We're here to celebrate adoptions of all kind. We're here to celebrate uh, forever families for some very special individuals. And we're here to say more people should do this. More people should extend themselves. And even if you can't adopt, even if you can't be a foster parent, you can support uh, families who are adoption who are going through adoption. You see, this is a very special day for me. 61 years ago, I was brought to this country out of an orphanage in Hong Kong and brought to a forever family here on Beacon Hill in Seattle. So this day, this ceremony, this celebration is so extra very special to me. So we have a lot of people to thank, and so we're going to get right to it. Uh, let's first acknowledge a huge contribution by a number of people. First, you've heard from the harmonica pocket, the harmonica man who was here earlier playing music. Let's give him a round of applause. <laughs> the adoption community uh, is strong and is here to support you. We couldn't do this ceremony without the help of so many people. Please bear with me just for a few minutes because these are the people behind the scenes. These are the people that make it happen. These are the people who here us support you. They simply don't get enough credit. So let's, uh, let's thank and, uh, the Casey Family Programs uh, for providing food here today. We have, uh, let's, we have a number of uh, DCYF social workers, Regina Chin, Jennifer Marshall, Suzanne Large, uh, Bo Shivang, others from, the, from DCFS. Could we give them a round of applause? We have King County Bar uh, President Jennifer Paisno. Okay. Also, we have uh, the adoption attorneys this morning, Albert Lerhus, Jana uh, Ar Arnest, David Moe, David Anderson, Andrew Schneidler, Stephen Smith, Jonathan um, uh, Milstein, and Frank DeMarco. Let, uh, let's give them a hand. We have Dependency Casa and Friends of Casa. Let's give them a hand. John L. Scott and AVI Solutions, Inc. DIWAS -D Photography and Professional Photographers who are here photographing this event. 911 Program Office and the Sheriff's Office is here supporting us. 
Uh, we have Seattle sports teams, and of course, National Adoption Day wouldn't be anything without our special sports teams. We have the, the Seahawks have supported us, the Mariners, Seattle Storm, and others. All right, he's got to come out here. Okay, okay. You're on time this year. I just, <laughs> so like, okay, all right, okay. Here we are. Okay, they, they, okay. They're gonna help me. They're gonna help me do some more introductions here. Okay. Here we go. All right. Here we go. Uh, warm uh, 106.9. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yes. 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 They're here. Give them a hand. Uh, Apple Healthcare Core Connections. Uh, okay. All right. Yeah. Well, no, I'm not gonna hold that. Okay. Well, you hold it. Okay. It's like, <laughs> And we have, oh, they're moving in now. Okay, this is gonna be it. All right, we have uh, face painters from uh, Victoria Morgan, balloon artist, Amber Hart, and Kids Quest. Let's give them a hand. <laughs> Children's Museum, Woodland Park Zoo, Seattle Aquarium, Family Fun Center, and Pacific Science Center helped us out. Let's give them a hand as well. With these wonderful kids and Children's Home Society of Washington. <laughs> Friends of Youth, Holt International, Bethany Ch uh, Christian Services, and Open Adoption and Family Services have tables here today. <laughs> I want to specifically recognize our National Adoption Day Committee, uh, Judge Parisian, uh, Connor Lentz, who you've heard from, uh, Courtney Angeles, uh, Catherine uh, Barnhouse, Waipei Ling Landis and Regina Chin. Uh, let's give them a hand. Uh, also, Suzanne Large, Kuo Shi Shang Bong, uh, Tina uh, Fornick, uh, Diane Cowan, Kendra Brown, hi, <laughs> and Taryn McCormick, uh, and Gina Reyes, Reyes, and Tracy White. Let's give them a hand. This couldn't happen without them. At this time, I want to recognize and have come forward uh, a very special person. Uh, he is Ross Hunter, who was introduced as our Secretary of the Department of Children and Family Services, by, uh, and he was appointed by Governor Inslee in July of 2017. Uh, prior to that, he served as Director of the Department of Early Learning, and had previously served as a State Representative for the 40. 8th District between 2003 and 2015. At this time, let me introduce Ross Hunter. Thank you very much. So it, it, it's not many events that I get to come to and wear a balloon hat. So I just want to thank everybody for that and for coming to an event with balloons. I, I got to watch one of the adoptions this morning and um, teared up a little bit just as everybody else in the room did. So my job today is just to thank everybody for helping to make all of these permanent families. I, I can see that there are a lot of children who are spinning out in the hallway in joy. And I can also see that there are a lot of families. You know, they spin faster than you do. Um, <laughs> what, just saying. Um, and, but I'm seeing that the families here are just as happy as the kids. And so it's pretty fun. Everybody gets to make everybody happy here, and we get to have permanent, permanent families. But my real job is to thank the caseworkers. Can we have all of our caseworkers stand up again? Thank you. This is some of the, you know, I, it's kind of heartwarming to see all people who are so happy for the families that they've worked for. They're coming here to see these kids get adopted and they're tearing up too. So I, I want to thank them for the hard work that they do and I want to thank you all for making families uh, that are going to provide those kids a foundation for the rest of their life. Thank you. And I have five minutes and I'm not using the whole thing. Next, uh, we have another extra special guest. Um, and as it turned out, I met her and it's, she turns to me and says, you were adopted? I said, yeah, she said, me too. So I want to come uh, have come forward now uh, from King 5 Television, Michelle Lee. Michelle, you're right there, okay? Could you come up and say a few words? Everybody 
it gets a balloon. Thank you, Your Honor. Hi, everyone. How you doing? Hey. You feeling good? Uh, my name is Michelle Lee, and I anchor the mornings on King 5. And a lot of times, we don't get to tell you great, happy stories. But this is one of the great, happy stories that's going to air in the news today. So congratulations. Um, I was adopted and lived in rural Missouri. That's where I grew up and was probably the only Asian kid in the county, which was uh, really an interesting way to grow up. Uh, but I loved it. And the thing that I think about when I think about my own adoption is that it really gave my family a chance to dream. So it gave my parents a chance to fulfill their dreams of being parents and it gave me the opportunity to have things that I never would have had before if I had been uh, living in my situation in Korea. So for me, you know, it was really wonderful to be a first generation college student in the United States, to dream about going to college and getting my journalism degree. And now it's a dream to be at King 5 and be a part of the news team there and then stand before you today. So um, I just wanted to thank you for letting me be a part of your special day. And you know, I wanted to also offer just um, unconditional support because today is a very happy day and it's filled with lots of memories. And I know that just because I grew up in general, growing up can be tough, right? So, you know, sometimes adoption can be challenging. You know, you grow up and you have other things to deal with as well when you're, adopt when you're an adoptive family. And just know that there is a huge amount of support and love and unconditional caring about your families. And uh, thank you for letting me be a part of your day. Really appreciate it. Congratulations. Thank you, Michelle. At this time, I'd like to bring forward our feature family, Jennifer Johnson and family. Will you please come forward? I was not given any guidance on what you say. Um, two years ago, this beautiful little lady came into my care. Um, it was hard. We had good days, we had bad days, but the one thing as you can see is that she lights up a room. She brings joy and happiness to everyone that she's in, she encounters. Um, you wouldn't know that um, she's gone through what she's gone through, and she's taught me patience. She's taught me hope. She's given me strength. Um, she's given our family new meaning and she completes our tribe and so we are happy that she is with us and that she's now officially my daughter thank you so very much i, I wanted to introduce as well we have uh, uh, judge ken schubert has joined us uh commissioner henry jensen <laughs> And that's John Rule. All right, at this time, I'd like to uh, go ahead and introduce uh, two King County uh, Council members, uh, or one King County Council member, uh, uh, Kathy Lambert. Please step forward. Yeah. Council Member Lambert. Thank you. Thank you. This is, without a doubt, the biggest adoption day we've had yet. So this is really exciting see this room so full of, of happy people. We don't get to see happy smiles in the courthouse very often. Sorry, judges, you're so entertaining. But today, um, everybody's happy, and I'm really glad to see that. I was a foster mom, and so um, I raised six children, and they produced 18 grandchildren. So I do believe that families are important and that families are forever. Moms and dads, some days are going to be more difficult than others. And what I say when my kids or grandkids are just kind of putting me on the edge, this too should be a memory I can talk about at their wedding. So um, it keeps the perspective that it's all about loving them and um, adding joy to our lives. And it's the one thing in our lives we can take with us is the love of our families. And so that's very special. Um, last year we had 481 adoptions that were finalized in this county, which is very, very exciting. So. 
The issue is, though, that in the Washington foster care system, there's 8,600 little people that are looking for somebody to love them full time. It's a lot of kids. And there's 1,727 of them that live in our very own county. So today, um, I'm going to read part of the proclamation. It says, whereas King County recognizes the importance of helping foster children find permanent, safe, and loving families through adoption, whereas more than 1, 100,000 children in the United States foster care system are waiting to be adopted, and whereas outreach to potential adoptive families has been identified as a crucial step in moving children more quickly out of the foster care system into permanent, loving homes. You are all the ambassadors. When you tell your neighbors and your friends, look at how much fun my family is having with our new child being added, they may also think about adding to their families. So we celebrate this 18th annual adoption day and we urge all residents in King County to join the national effort to raise awareness of the importance of sharing your homes and your hearts with children in need. Congratulations. Thank you. All right, at this time, we're going to call a number of our families forward. First, uh, we're going to have you come and pose uh, up here for a, a, fo a photograph, and we have some uh, some goodies for you as well as a, a bear for each of the uh, kids who are being adopted. Some of the kids were previously adopted, and, and they're uh, on other days, and they're just joining us. So, uh, first, we have uh, Maverick Preston Curtis, Dallas Montgomery Curtis, Loki Dexter Curtis and Ridgen Charles Curtis, parents Tyler and Chelsea Curtis, four children. Uh, let's see, Charles Miller Eklund and Gabriel Mackay White Eklund, parents Damon and Kristen Eklund. Eklund family. <laughs> Next we have Noel, Michelle, everybody talks about. Parents, Levi and Michelle, everybody talks about. Alexander uh, Christian Gary, G A I R Y. William and Olivia Gary are the parents. <laughs> Thank you. Next, Aiden John Gates. Parents, Stephen and Heather Gates. The Gates family. We have Lily Noah Gork, parents Rachel and Kelly Gork, the Gork family. Next, we have Lani Lalami Camille Hall, parents Henry Ward and Vicki Borchak. Marshawn Anthony Flight Anderson, 
parent, Wolfenine Flight Dash Stevens. Olivia Catherine Harris, uh, parents, James and Rachel Harris, the Harris family. Next family, Jacob Joseph Hendrickson, parents, Lewis and Lorna Hendrickson, the Hendrickson family. Okay. Uh, Vanessa Sophia Iqbal, uh, parents are Ahmad and Robin Iqbal. Thank you. Next, we have Zoe Lachey Walker, parent, Jennifer Jackson. Next we have Brandon Jack Jorgensen, Gabriel John Jorgensen, and Ian Kurt Jorgensen, a parent, Gina Jorgensen. Next we have Warren Joseph Guest, Lum, and Adriana Kyle uh, Rose Kyle Lum. Parents are Aaron and Tracy Lum. Two kids. Great last name. Nathaniel Joseph Maytot, M-A-T-O-T-E. Parents are George and Love Maytot. Matate, sorry. Maytot. Thank you. Next, Jamie Nicole Giddings. Giddings. Uh, Miranda Murphy is the parent. Thank you. Annabelle Marie Gosser Nielsen, and the parents are Eric and Colleen Nielsen, the Nielsen family. Nielsen family, there they are. <laughs> Thank you. Next we have Augustine Journey Etienne Sofle by, uh, let's see, parents are Matthew and Emily Sofle. There they are, come on. Thank you. Siwana Coraline Peleueta Dash Rain. 
The parents are Jennifer West and Chandra Renke. Jason Williams and Cynthia um, Barrio Williams. So, at this time, let's give all of our families a round of applause. 